one thing that we ought not to overlook is that there's a lot of talk these days, could we do it again? The fact is that less than 1% of our population has been doing it again. They've been in Iraq and Afghanistan exactly. for 10 years. They stepped up right away, raised their hand, went into uniform, and served their country. The big, big difference is that if you were at home during the war, you made sacrifices. You were constantly aware of what was going on. You paid attention to it. You knew somebody who was in the war. The difference is now we send mostly working class people off to fight our wars, and, and nothing is asked for us at home. And in fact, Alex and Tom and Mike, that's exactly the point that this young Matt, 20 years old, said. He said, you know, we shouldn't forget that we have young people my age doing this exact same thing, but the whole country isn't always behind them. And that's why in The Greatest Generation, Tom wrote about the people back here as well, and the women and the, the families, because everyone was involved. Well, yeah, uh, the, it, was, it was a different country in 1944. It was a country just emerging from the Depression. Uh, the war obviously helped end the Depression economically back in the United States. But the biggest difference is that we, the country, was at war yep. in World War II. And today, unfortunately, as Tom just pointed out, less than 1% of us yep. fight these wars. There is no draft. Uh, there is, you, your neighbors aren't going to war. Everyone on your street who you knew in World War II growing up, I could still recall tales yeah. of my neighborhood street. Everyone had a piece of that war, whether they were fighting the war at home in a specific job or in uniform overseas. And that's no longer the case. Yeah.